All right, here we go. Reading a news article from the New York Post um, called, titled, I breastfeed my boys age five and six in the playground. I won't stop until they're ready. By Becky Premberton. This mom still feeds her two boys age five and six. Before and after school, she says, uh, won't stop until they've decided it's time on their own. Cheryl Wayne from Wakefield, Westshire, England, says, insists that breastfeeding her school-aged sons is completely normal as it has cemented a lifelong bond between them and made them, quote-unquote, closer. 39-year-old nurses, the 39-year-old nurses, both Riley 6 and Milo 5, before school, in the evening, and throughout the night. She claims that her quote-unquote mommy milk is the ultimate parenting tool as it helps calm the children and comforts them when they're upset or ill. Basically, uh, she's gotten negative comments from strangers and even family members who question if the way her children behave has anything to do with them still being breastfed. But Cheryl states, that's children. Although she originally stopped planned to stop breastfeeding when Riley, I assume the oldest boy, was three. She wants them to be part of the decision. And he has said he won't stop until he's 10. OMG. Um, I mean, she is a hyper birthing teacher and Dubla uh, has said, I think about it. I think about when I'll stop all the time. It's never felt right to end it unnecessarily. It's what they're asking for and biologically normal, even if not in society. We've started the conversation when Riley was three. And he said he would stop having mommy milk. And Riley when he was 10. And I told them there's no chance. The choice isn't just mine. It's a relationship because it's something we do together. <sighs> It's not like I don't have a choice. A lot of time... Oh, it's not like I don't have a choice. A lot of time, they'll ask for it, and I'll tell them to get off. I mean, these boys... Mm -mm. Okay, it has made us closer. It's the fact that they know they can come to me and be comforted anytime. I mean... Most parents can comfort their children anytime without breastfeeding, so that's just an excuse, in my opinion. We can do it without breastfeeding, a lot of people say, who aren't breastfeeding will still respond, but that's part of my toolbox. Good thing we didn't pick up this kind of toolbox, parenting. It's formed part of our relationship, and that's the main drive for us to continue, or for me to continue breastfeeding. All right. Goes on to state, Cheryl hopes she can dispel some of the myths surrounding natural term breastfeeding, the practice of nursing until the child chooses to wean. It's all about comfort. If they're ill, that's where they want to be to help them calm down. And we don't live in a society that's supportive that after infancy, which is why we don't see it. They want to be with me and snuggle with me, even when they're not breastfeeding. I've been pretty lucky that I haven't had negative comments from strangers, but family members and people I know have asked if I think I should stop. Well, she, that was until she posted this uh, story, Lord have mercy. They question if whether my children behave has anything to do with them being breastfed. They're hard work, but that's children. No. People think they're experts in other people's children. But I'm not going, I'm not doing it blind, even though I'm following my instincts in many ways. See, this is, well, it's still not fine. This boy's old enough. He took me to the bench and I had to dig in deep into myself. I wanted to tell him we weren't doing it there because people could see it. But I didn't want to pass my anxieties on to him. Get out of here. OMG. Okay, so here's where it started. Cheryl says she was determined to breastfeed Milo because she struggled to nurse Riley. 
following a difficult birth. She added the breastfeeding helped her to overcome the trauma of giving birth and strengthened her connections with her son. At this point, I mean, this is just, I feel like her wanting attention. Why else would you take a picture like that? Uh, Cheryl Tandem fed the pair until they were too big to be fed at the same time. Breastfeeding helped me to keep that connection going. And I had it in my head that I wanted to tandem breastfeed. I felt it felt magical and empowering to be sustaining two babies at the same time. Come on. I had traumatic births and because of that experience, I felt like a failure. I felt like I hadn't done it right. So I needed the breastfeeding relationship to succeed. It wasn't until I started breastfeeding Riley that I learned what it was about. It was a lot harder than I thought. It wasn't the physical bad, but emotionally, it was hard. It might have been easier if I had known more, more about it. I mean, come on now. This boy can drink out of his own cup, but he still needs to be sucking on the tea. Come on now. Come on. It's all about comfort. No, this lady obviously uh, didn't feel like she was being a parent. Or she wasn't parenting the right way, so her breastfeeding is her way of making up for, come on, those kids aren't even going to remember. What kid have you ever heard, remember that one time when I was six months old and you didn't parent me right? No, this is ridiculous. Just my opinion, but, I mean, no. I remember playing with dolls, this must have been when she was little, a while little, and pretending to breastfeed them because I thought it was what you do, and that's where milk comes from. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, here we go. I mean, the photo on the right, fine, but this one on the left, these boys, uh-uh, they're old enough. It was a really nice experience for all three of us to do together. Riley would reach out and stroke Milo's head and hold his hand. And that's how I felt it was supposed to be. And I was a lot more confident within my own body. Okay, that just took it to a whole different level of awkwardness and creepiness. This lady needs to get mental help. And I'm not saying she's like crazy, but she's using this as a crutch. <laughs> 